Piers Morgan has brutally skewered Meghan Markle and Prince Harry after they accepted an NAACP award. Piers Morgan, 56, was left unimpressed by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's honor at Saturday's NAACP Image Awards. Meghan and Harry were awarded the President's Award in recognition of their distinguished public service. The couple joined past recipients of the prize including Muhammad Ali, LeBron James and Rihanna. Following Meghan and Harry's impassioned acceptance speech, Pierce took to Twitter in the early hours of Sunday morning to share his thoughts with his 7.9 million followers. The presenter quipped, Imagine giving these two clowns an award when their only claim to fame is trashing their families on TV, ruthlessly exploiting their royal titles for vast financial gain, and preaching about equality and environment from their California mansion and private jets. Hilarious. Pierre's words caused quite a stir and many users flew to Meghan and Harry's defense. Lovey wrote, Let it go, man. They are living their best life. Do the same. Dana questioned, Why are you still so angry at Meghan? Your feelings were really hurt. You really know how to hold a grudge, don't you? Let it go already. Nobody cares. There are more pressing concerns in the world at the moment. And Sahara said, Stop the hate already, Piers. It's really boring. However, some agreed with Piers and questioned why Meghan and Harry had been awarded at all. Peter penned, such an insult to the extraordinary past recipients. They got the award as the event wanted publicity. Sonny replied, glad to see they are enjoying their so-called private life. And Gemma said, I can't stop laughing. Read their bio on the NAACP website it gets funnier. Meghan and Harry were handed the award by NAACP President. Derek Johnson, the humanitarian introduced the couple saying, this year's recipients have demonstrated they are so deserving of this honor. Join me as we take a look at the work of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. A montage was then played featuring Harry's army career, his trip to Nepal following the 2016 earthquakes, and teaming up with Rihanna in Barbados for World AIDS Day.